What's up, chaps and chappers? Welcome back to another episode of A Road to Glory. If you haven't already seen, make sure you watch the previous episode of A Road to Glory. Current record is nine wins, one loss. We're not looking too bad. I mean, the game that we did lose was such a fluky game. We're just going to this squad battles game because I think uh, we got a red card in the previous game. Taking some legs or something. Um, and then I put this centre back in, who's the replacement, just for that squad battles game. Accidentally left him in the team. Uh, my bad. <laughs> Oof. And then Hamzik ends up banging it off this fluky little goal. I mean, come on, man. There's so... I don't know, like... I don't know about you guys, but right now I'm conceding so many fluky goals. All these little cheesy goals. I mean... It's disgusting. It really is. Uh, we play over the top. Larice gives it through for Anarchy Williams. Yeah, that just happened. That just happened. I can't believe... I literally... I was sitting there like, yo, what has just happened? The ball just falls for Anarchy. And the composure. You have to say the composure to put that over the keeps. Waving goodbye. Blurma kissing the stands. 87th minute. Party gets the ball. This game is tense. This game is very, very tense. We're in sweat mode. And uh, we're in that sweaty sort of form of foot champs. We're getting to a point where... Because if you don't already know, it's based on form. Like, the games that you play are based on how you're playing at the moment. Like, you'll play opponents based on how well you're doing. And um, they were getting sweaty, man. They were getting very, very sweaty. And um, we're just trying to survive in here. It's like literally the first map of Nazi zombies penned up in that little corner just next to the stairs. I mean, it was disgusting. We were just sitting there like, yo, can we defend against these chaps? Turns out we can attack against them too as we hit him on the counter. Neymar Jr. tucking it in. My guy. Literally, I think we brought on Ronaldo and Neymar. Something like 87th minute. Gets a goal four minutes later. They're on the pitch for four minutes. That's how you know they're paid to win. Um, if I had those players with top 100, yo. Now, but I still, I still actually do need to practice at the game. And here's where I've got to give credit where credit is due. Simple as that. What a banger by Wass. Um, EA, Division's Rivals, got to give credit. It's a sick game mode. Uh, if you think about it, it allows you to play some of the best players. It's really difficult. For once, it's actually difficult to go up the Divisions. Gives you good coins. You go up the Divisions and you play difficult players. In fact, you can play some of the pro players are like matching up against each other all the time. I remember I watched like Huge Gorilla's uh, stream. And he was playing like pro after pro after pro. Because obviously he's in Division 1. Difficult to get into Division 1. And it's just great practice. It finally, there is great practice. Without having to go on like Gfinity or like some other external website. To play some of the best players. You can just play through Division's Rivals. I think that's absolutely fantastic. I don't know how uh, like you guys feel about Division's Rivals. But personally, I think that is one of the best things that's happened to FIFA in a long time. Um... Before then, for champions. Because you think about it, before for champs, there was no way of earning coins by being good at the game. Simple as that. So, we get the ball with Ben Yedder. Uh, gets the ball. Well, actually, apart from trading. But, you know, trading's kind of... It's not very efficient. I Well, it's a it's a grind as well. It's kind of boring. Not everyone wants to trade. But Ben Yedder getting a goal. Puts it top bins. Here goes Wass. Gives the ball to... Uh, I think that's Jan Fran. Still playing the 4-3-2-1. We, uh, we kick off with the 4-3-2-1 just to get the goals at first. So here's what I need to get to. Formations, right? We start with a 4 one 2 one 2 Don't even use it at all. I, I Maybe I should have used it because I was doing quite well in training with it. But I think I wasn't like used to it because I kept switching it. Um, so, 4-3-2-1. I start off with a 4-3-2-1 with a left-back, right-back overlaps as we get another dub. Um, and basically what this is going to do, it's going to confuse the hell out of the opponent. It's gonna, it's just gonna catch him off guard, like Jon Fran and all that on the overlap. Um, it's gonna catch him off guard, and we actually do that here as we get the ball. Muriel back to Anarchy Williams to tuck it in, and then after we get the first goal, we're switching the formation four two three one. So it goes four three two one. Excuse me, uh, to four. Wait, it goes four three two one to four two three one. Pretty confusing, I know, but basically it just goes from. Sort of like attacking to defensive. And here's the thing as well, right? The game right now, AI defending is absolutely crazy. I'm sure if you've watched any other piece of FIFA content, they're probably telling you exactly the same thing. And it's just facts. As I miss another penalty. I can't score penalties, man. It's so annoying. Uh, but we do actually win that game 2-0. 
But regardless of that, um, right now, AI defending is just ridiculous. The skill gap is pretty low, I'm not going to lie. I hate to say it. Long shots in the game, they're stupid. Overhead kicks, you don't even need to press LT to do them. They're overpowered as hell. Um, pay to win players are more OP than ever, I feel like. Um, and AI defending means that anyone can defend pretty easily, I'm not going to lie. Right now, I wasn't expecting it, but in for jumps, I feel like almost 90% of the players I came up against ended up either switching to or starting with a 4-2-3-1. And they're all doing exactly the same thing. Sit deep, get your CDMs, and sit them in front of your defense. And that's just what works. As we get a goal last minute again, Ronaldo Neymar, the classic mix. Um, sub them on, goal lasso. Easy. Pay to win players. Um... But obviously, they're loaned. I wish I had those players. Here's the thing. Everyone's just doing the same thing right now. And it works. Like, it does work. But EA definitely needs to patch... They just need to patch the game. They need to patch the game. There's good... I do like a lot of what I see in FIFA 19. Crossing is fantastic. I do like how they finally brought back crossing. Uh, kind of switches up the game a bit. Actually makes crossing viable. Makes target men a bit more viable than like some Mandzukic, my guy. Uh, we almost can see the goal here, but have a look at this game. Extra time. This is one of the sweatiest games you'll see. All of these games, because the AI defending is so good and everyone's sitting so deep. I'm playing the 4 2 3 1. Pretty sure he's playing the 4 2 3 1. 120th minute. It's nil nil. Nil nil. No goals. It goes to penalties. We start off. I tried to go left, but arrow's not on, so like I'm not used to it. Um, we go down the middle by accident. He goes down the middle. And he's one goal up in this penalty shootout. I mean, this is just sweaty stuff. This is sweaty stuff. Bold ADL puts it away. Rashford off the post. Yo, oi, this is when it gets interesting here. My goodness. Ronaldo steps up, tucks it away. At this point, you can imagine the heart rate. The heart rate monitor is going off the scales right now. Lloris. What a... He's actually a sick keeps, I have to say. Lloris is absolutely ridiculous. He just makes some crazy, crazy saves. And uh, basically, if he doesn't score this, he's done. He scores. What's happening next? What's, what's going to happen to the script? Party. This to win. Oh, my days. It's making me salty just looking back at it. Nine Golan. Keeper saves you. And we win the game. Let's go, man. Um, that was like, <laughs> if you didn't see the last episode, that was literally what I said for like 90% of the reactions. That's the thing is that when you're sweating it that much, you're not thinking about what you're saying. Every single reaction was, let's go. <laughs> like every single time. Um, that was funny. But nonetheless, I think we're now, we're, we're, we're still one game lost and we just keep winning. 4-3-2-1. We start off with a 4-3-2-1. We catch them out instantly. Um, I do actually need to stress as well, custom tactics wise, I changed it. Basically, it's actually much more overpowered having your defense deep. I think at this point, it might have been a bit too far forward. Actually, no, it wouldn't have been. Look at him now. Aubameyang strikes it over keeper, Larice Makes a save, full straight for him. Lucky goal. Simple as that. He's got loan down Aubameyang. So this, I basically, I tried to get it down to the left back, man. That's to the left back. Why is it going over there? And then he gets the ball, couple passes, Sane is in, 70th minute. At that point, I'm basically just saying, game, like, it's GG, what am I going to do? 86th minute, we're running down this right-hand side. Get the ball across, Was gives it to Murray. I probably should have sweated it there. And he tucks it away, 2-2. Two -two. Straight back in the game, 88th minute. I didn't actually know what to do it because we switched to 4-3-2-1 we brought on Ronaldo. Defensive, as you can see there, we transitioned to the 4-3-2, 4-2-3-1. Uh, Hasn't happened yet. And we concede. Off the kickoff. I literally couldn't have done anything there. I, pff, mate, that just makes me so salty looking back at it. There's the second loss. Off the kickoff. Straight after we score back. Oh my days. Of course, I'm pretty sure it's like on the edge or outside the box. But we get a lovely header here. Anarchy Williams is sick. If you want a cheap striker... Get Anarchy Williams. He is a monster. Um, it's just, he's got skill moves. He's got four-star skills. He's got strength. He's got pace. It's ridiculous. It actually is ridiculous. So, something else is ridiculous. 
outside the box finesse shots. Patrick, they're just like they take no skill to do. People just finesse him for days. It's easier to score shots outside the box than it is inside the box right now. It's so dumb. Uh, poor defending by myself there. I have to give it to him. That was good play. Mbappe getting that goal. Uh, the next goal. I don't even want. I, I don't even want to talk. That's just. It's so ridiculous. Overhead kicks. You don't even have to press L, T, and B. You literally just press B and they do overhead kicks. They're way too consistent. I remember in the FIFA 19 demo, me and my friends used to do this thing where we go on legendary or whatever, and we try and score the best goals on the demo. And on this demo, we didn't do it. But I can guarantee it would have just been a load of overhead kicks because they're so easy to do to the point where it's just boring. It's not even fun anymore. Um, but the actual game is it is fun. Like, it's good. But the game felt delayed this weekend. And um, it definitely needs a patch. But nonetheless, that is going to be the end of the video for now. 15 wins out of 18. How are we going to get on in our last 12 games? I have to wait till next episode. My guys.